Lads, what is the crack? It is me, I'm back. Um, so taking a lot of time off from obviously doing any videos. Um, couple of good reasons for that, but I'm getting closer and closer every day to being able to tell you what it is. Um, at the moment, I still can't. It's looking about three or four days away before I can reveal everything to you. Obviously dealing with that in the background. But yeah, other than that, uh, not really too much to report on yet because obviously I can't. But the next video that you see will reveal all. So super excited about that. And training has been a little bit sporadic. Um, I've only got maybe three sessions in since Christmas. It's now the 17th January. So yeah, so three sessions in 70 days. Um, gym sessions wise, I have played five aside three times since, um, so in terms of cardiovascular health and fitness, it's going okay. And what else? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll some of the clips from those two sessions, so I did record them. Um, one of them was a push-pull workout. Again, it was only maybe 30, 45 minutes long. And then the second one was a kind of a power session based around um, Olympic weightlifting um, exercise. So the clean and jerk and power snatch. So I will roll them clips now. Before I get to that, look at this. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. So what I may just do um, during this video is drop some little few hints as to what um, I'm actually talking about in terms of the big news. Um, but now it's breakfast time. Again, any of you know, canola and that Glenisk yogurt type. Focus. Yes. Um, and also actually managed to somehow fix my old laptop um, so I had this one I've had this since second year college which is about four or five years um, and when we first moved into the house it wasn't working it wouldn't turn on um, the, the lights would come on but wouldn't turn on or nothing um, so was cleaning up a bit of the house yesterday and I pulled it out of the bag and then plugged it in and it turned on so I reset the whole thing yesterday um, so wiped the whole laptop fully clean, uh, back to factory settings, and obviously he's trying to start again. Um, but what that means now is that I can go back to the old editing software that I used to use. So for the last maybe six months, I've been using um, my girlfriend's uh, MacBook, using iMovie, so real basic stuff, uh, which makes it difficult to do um, anything, we'll say, um, out of the ordinary in terms of editing so if I was going to do any transitions stuff like that makes it a little bit more difficult to do but now I have my old software back um, obviously I've got the updated version so again really looking forward to that um, so yeah editing game just got an upgrade so I'm gonna get cracking on that for the next maybe hour or so um, and then I will fill in with the rest of the day. So trying something a, a little bit different this time with this uh, commentary. So I'm gonna put my face down on the bottom of the screen below so you can actually see me when I'm talking to it. Um, so this warm up I went through before my push pull session. And if you haven't seen it, the full version of it is on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description below. So definitely check that out. So this was the full upper body session push pull. Um, so the first two exercises were supersetted. Um, first one was an incline dumbbell bench press. So I was going for sets of eight to 10 and was doing five sets. This is probably my preferred um, push movement. I don't really like doing flat bench because I just feel like it puts my shoulders in a very unstable position. I know I've spoken about this before. And then superseted that then with a chest supported incline row. Again, focuses on keeping the chin tucked in at the top of the bench. 
chest pressed in against the bench and then pulling my elbows back rather than trying to pull the weight up with my hands. Again, focuses on retracting the shoulder blades together as well, feeling it in the lats, not the biceps. Unfortunately, this is the one downside of recording yourself when you're in the gym, so here it went a little bit out of focus, but you can still kind of see what I'm trying to do here. So this one was a shoulder superset. So the first one was a strict military press for a set of five. Again, I don't really do this one that much, but I'm hoping to get back into it a little bit more. And then went straight then from the strict military press into a uh, lateral dumbbell raise with only six kilos, but trust me, Last superset, this is actually a tricep. So the first exercise was a strict barbell bicep curl. Um, again, you gotta have some biceps thrown in there somewhere. Um, so again, went for a set of eight to 10 with this. And then immediately went from that into a skull crusher with the barbell. Again, this is probably one of my favorite tricep moves. Um, this along with the next one you'll see in the same clip. Again, focus here is trying to keep the elbows tucked in as much as I can and make sure that my upper arm is directly or so perpendicular to the ground. Uh, second move then was a close grip bench press. Again, both of these exercises were done set. Again, so those are the first set of exercises you saw and that gym session was done about a week ago on, it was, yeah, exactly last Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday that I did it. Um, again, and it was sandwiched in to only a half an hour, so the full workout only took about 40 minutes, including the 10 minute warm up. Um, and now the next clip you'll see now will be the session that I did on Sunday. It was in the break between clients I had on Sunday. So again, the focus wasn't really on strength or hypertrophy, mainly on power production. Again, and getting um, with the technical points of the um, Olympic lifts kind of right so that I can start to progress a little bit quicker rather than just piling on a load of weight now um, and having bad form and then just like opening up myself to a whole world of problems down the line. So the start of this workout was um, the clean and the jerk. So these are just the kind of the last couple of warm up reps. Um, so with this, I was working with, I think it's 50 at the time. So again, clean and jerk, catching it in a high catch position rather than kind of getting into a full clean, um, partly because one, um, I'm not fully proficient at the clean yet, so it's a little bit easier for me to catch the bar in a high catch position rather than dropping fully into a front squat um, and then obviously trying to push the weight back up. Um, it's also um, a good gauge for me. If I catch it in a high catch position, I have, I have no choice but to get a lot of speed and power into the bar to get it into that position. So again, it's a little bit more specific to how I want to go about and progressing with this lift. Um, so then moved on to 60. Um, so did kind of, I think it was three to five sets of three. So again, sets really low reps because it's a very intense exercise. Again, you're trying to create as much power and speed into the bar as you possibly can. Um, so again, it was sets of three um, with a jerk thrown in there as well. Again, after I'd done that, I moved on to working the snatch. So, similar type of exercise in the sense that it's power production is the main focus. Um, grip is obviously slightly wider, um, and you are catching the bar in an overhead position. Again, really, really technical exercise, and then finished off with a overhead squat. So there you have it there, the two workouts that I've done since Christmas, and um, again, both within the 45 minute range. Again, a little kind of 
example of uh, why you don't need to spend two hours in the gym to get a solid workout in. Again, I've had to change um, the workouts obviously that I'm trying to do um, in relation to the goal that I'm trying to achieve because the workouts that I had set out previously just didn't fit in with the time frame that I had in that specific session. So obviously I had to change it around a little bit um, and then obviously um, working a little bit more on the technical side of certain exercises. Do you have to book um, certain jabs? If you're could I provisionally book myself in for that two o'clock appointment? Yeah, and could you let us know then if you can't make it because of the demand? Yeah. So job number two done of the day, time for food. Um, got some chicken left over, um, sorry, not left over, that I haven't cooked yet. And some gel frazy sauce that I haven't used yet. So I'm gonna whip up that now. And there we go. Chicken gel frazy with some bacon in there as well. So gonna get into that. YouTube videos. And I will catch you guys in the next clip. I'll finish up there and um, got a session now in the gym at 4 o'clock to have 4 and then supposed to have coaching in Anacotti 7 to 9. Um, weather a lot miserable outside um, so kind of hoping that it gets called up. So unfortunately training wasn't cancelled. So to pick up where I left off in the last clip, um, I'd say roughly about 22 seconds after I took that clip, I walked up to the Astro Turf and was told training was cancelled. Um, so ended up not having to do any coaching last night. Went and got pizza um, with um, obviously the guys that I work with, and then came home. Um, so today, a um, couple more bits to get done today. Um, again, I'm gonna drop a few little hints today. Um, but other than that, plan is to get one thing done, and then go and sit in Starbucks for a while, get some editing done in this video, and then start planning for the next one, which is the most important one. And then. Yeah, so Thursday's pretty much my day off. I'm gonna actually hit the gym later on as well. So I'm gonna hit um, a full lower body session. I'm gonna record some of that. That'll be in the next video. But yeah, Thursday's day off, nice. Also looking a bit fresher and cleaner today. A little bit of a shave this morning. Let's... There we go. Also haven't had a haircut in too long, so... That also needs to get fixed. <laughs> but, yeah. Hence the I need my haircut hat on constantly all the time. So I'm gonna end that vlog there. Um, I'm gonna start the next one right now. Uh, so in the gym, gonna get lower body done. But I shall see you in the next video.